Hey guys, I'm going to show you a sneak peek into the bathroom of Mumtaj Mahal. Historians say that this queen inspired the construction of Taj Mahal. If you stand on any corner of the structure and light up candles, you can see these amazing patterns emerging on the ceiling. Now, this is really brilliant, and the reason for this is because the entire ceiling is covered with thousands of tiny mirrors. Queen Mumtaz would be lying in a bathtub at the middle of this bathroom, and her maids would move the candles just like what we see today on all the corners. And she would enjoy these visuals of sparkling lights. In addition to this, there were musicians who were playing different musical instruments while she was taking a bath. Even the walls in this 400-year-old structure were designed to produce different sounds when tapped on. Now, keep in mind, no men were allowed inside this building, but a group of eunuch musicians were employed to play these instruments for the queen. The walls are also full of many different carvings and paintings. Here, you can see a painting of a coffee plant with bright red coffee cherries. It looks so bright because artists powdered ruby, a semi-precious stone, and used it to paint these cherries. They've also used other stones like malachite in this building. Here you can see a carving of a grapevine with plenty of grapes. It is reported that the queen and the king loved drinking grape wine together. This is the original bathtub she used. It is made of marble built with a fountain jet in the center. This was a jacuzzi built 400 years ago. How did these fountains work without electricity? The water will fall from a tank on the top and this pressure would make the fountain work. So why did the king order that the bathroom ceilings be adorned with thousands of mirrors? Why were these mirrors imported from Syria? to ensure they were of the best quality. The king, Shah Jahan, could never get enough of this woman, and he would watch the thousands of images of her on these mirrors while she was in the bathtub. Even today, you can see a thousand images of a person standing in this room. Imagine the visual effect that would have created. This is why this building is called Shish Mahal, which means Palace of Mirrors. I hope you liked this video. I'm Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.